Hi there, uh, this is Murph. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure shell in a box uh, on a digital ocean uh, droplet or VM uh, running CentOS 6.5 or any CentOS 6 variant should be fine. Um, you can follow the same steps for any VM that you might have that is running CentOS 6x or Red Hat 6x variant or Oracle uh, Linux. Um, so, uh, first, uh, shell in a box. What it does, it allows you to access your server through the browser instead of having a uh, SSH client uh, like PuTTY or, or the uh, terminal uh, application. You can uh, SSH to your machine through a browser, plain browser. Um, so you don't need any plugin or anything to um, access your service, which is pretty handy, especially from Chromebooks or tablets. Okay. So uh, first, uh, I'm just gonna maximize the screen here a little bit. So to get Shell in the Box installed first, you need to have EPEL repository configured on your server. Um, if you search for EPEL repository installation steps in Google, it'll be pretty easy to install. I have it up uh, one here. So I'm just gonna follow this. Uh, first, I have to install wget because I don't have wget on this machine. In many machines, you might have it already, but if you don't, you can just install wget first. Okay, so that is there. So now I can run these commands here for this uh, EPL repository installation and just follow these steps. It's pretty easy. Okay. Okay, so now I have the EPL repository installed. Now I can install shell in the box. To do that, I have to do yum install. I do open SSL. I want to update open SSL as well, just to make sure that I have the updated version of open SSL. You can leave it off, but I usually prefer it because shell in the box uh, does SSL encryption as well if you use HTTPS. And then you put shell in a box. That's it. Okay, asking more of my confirmation. Yes. So as you see here, it's gonna install this and it's gonna update my open SSL package. It's always a good idea to update it because you know security wise it's a good idea. Yes. Okay, I'm done. Now if I do go to the first I need to go uh sysconfig, etc sysconfig shell in a box D. So I'm gonna update this. So by default, shell in the box this into port 420. You can keep it or you can change it if you want to be more secured. Um, okay, and I'm gonna uncomment this line. I'm gonna remove dash T because I want to use uh, uh, SSL, right? So remove dash T, and I'm gonna put my IP address of the system. I could do uh, the local host 17.0.0.1, but there are a lot of options you can configure shell in a box uh, with. Um, I'll save it. I can put my IP address here as well. Right. Okay, now I'm going to start the service. Service shell in a box start okay okay start now if I go to my browser here is my digital ocean droplet um, IP address so I do HTTPS okay and then colon four two zero zero okay it's gonna give me earning uh, regular because it's not using any uh, renowned uh, certificate authority I'm gonna say proceed and I should get a login from here okay yeah login from here let's say boot and I'm in okay now I can do a lot of things yeah but it's way better there's some options I can um, 
you know paste stuff from browser uh, so say I want to paste something from uh, like a command like you know uh, you know cat etc release right so I want to see the other so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to copy you cannot copy and paste I think uh, by default you have to paste it and then you put it here right then it goes here so that's kind of it could be nice if I could just copy and paste right away um, and there's an on-screen keyboard as well which is pretty nice if you touch screen you can uh, you can you know use on-screen keyboard um, there are a lot of a uh, lot of options here okay um, if you do shell in a box D H it gives you I believe Dash dash H. So it gives you all the options that you can use. Uh, um, so you can kind of you know tweak your settings as you like. But it's basically a very handy uh, tool uh, that you can use. Uh, you know, um, I hope this video helps. Uh, if you like this video, press like or subscribe to my videos. Uh, thank you for watching.